Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So now in this video, we will learn about some of the prompt uh, chat GPT-4 features we'll try to see. So the first one which I want to discuss you is the code interpreter. For example, let's say that in our chat GPT 3.5, which is a free version. So let's write something like provide. I am writing some message, something like provide me the code for QR code for link https www.google.com example let's say that i want a qr code for this link so now here it will give you the qr code so right now it is giving by default the python script so here if you try to see it is giving you the code but what you need to understand is it cannot execute the code okay it can just give you the code it cannot execute the code so in order to execute this code, what we need to do, we need to copy this code in our development environment and we need to execute that. We need to execute that whether it is working fine or not. So chat GPT has this type of thing. Whereas in the chat GPT 4, it has a feature in such a way that it has its own sandbox environment. So whatever the thing you want to provide, so it will give a whatever the code, it will execute that code and it will show you the output. For example, let's say that the same thing I will try to use it in our chart GPT 4 okay chart GPT 4 which is a plus <clears throat> now here I am waiting so now here it is analyzing the code so it is trying to do it and it will execute and it will directly give you the QR code directly the image will be generated if you try to see see it is asking it is uh, giving you the code to download the QR code so here or otherwise if you change it uh, provide me the QR code see if you ask it like this then it will directly give you the QR code directly see? analyzing and it is trying to execute it so it will take some time so it depends uh, what I can say is uh, so it will take some down I have to provide it you can download and use it from your link so if I click on this one, so okay, it is trying to download it. So the PNG, so here it is showing it. See here it has generated sometimes. So the output may change. So here provide the QR code for the link like this means. So it has provided the, it has generated the image like this. So this depends, this depends on the, the output, how you are uh, trying to get it. So that is, the, this is about the code interpreter. So this is very nice one. So whatever the thing you want to hit, so it can provide a sandbox environment, chart GPT-4 and you can execute. Whereas in the chart GPT-3.5, so you cannot have this type of thing. Just it will give you the simple code. So which you have seen it. Now, another thing which I want to tell you before proceeding into this one is, so we also have an another important uh, feature in our chart GPT-4 that is nothing but plugins. So if you go here, so you will be having a plugins here. Okay, so for making these plugins, for you for making use of these plugins, you need to go to the settings, and here in our beta features, you need to enable this option plugins. So Chat GPT has variety of plugins. So I will try to use one type of plugin which you can uh, use it all, all the plugins also in the same way only. For example, let's say that you need to go to the plugins. Okay, and here it will ask you plugin store. So here you'll be able to see all the plugins. So whatever the plugins are there, you'll be able to see. If you want to search for the plugins, you can search it. So right now I have already installed this Expedia or otherwise if you search it, I can uninstall this one. So it will be uninstalled directly. And if you want to install it, you can install it. So right now I'm trying to install it. So Expedia will be installed. So this Expedia is used to book the flight tickets and here now here in order to go to the chat GPT plugins so here you need to select the plugins and here the list of all the plugins will be displayed so first option we need to go is the Expedia so now we got we went to the Expedia now here we can search in the Expedia so for example let's say that I live in Hyderabad okay I want to fly to New Delhi on January okay on January 14th 2024 okay I will stay so just I am writing so I will I will stay up to I will stay up to seven days 
okay and it should be a it should be a direct flight okay I, I, I will stay up to five days so I want flights in afternoon like this I will write. so now in Expedia so now when I search here so it will try to summarize the data using Expedia so now here if you try to see so here this is the user input so Hyderabad to New Delhi it is trying to fly so we got uh, some ambiguous location it seems that there are two locations with the name Hyderabad it seems okay so another Pakistan okay we will say Hyderabad India so let's say let's see how it will try to so now it is trying to use the Expedia so what it will try to do is so here what it will what it is trying to do is so there uh, it looks like there are no direct flights from Hyderabad India to New Delhi that match your specificity flying in afterward if you might want to consider adjusting your trial would you like to explore other options is there so here adjust travel time okay so now it is trying to make the request again so afternoon there are no direct flights it seems so it is trying to do it so here you will be able to see origin Hyderabad to New Delhi so it is trying to make a request to XPD API request and it is getting a response now again it is trying to make the resp so it is telling that uh, we don't have any direct uh, different date for you to travel it is saying as January 12th January so we will make it as a January 12th so let's see whether we can able to get the flights or not so like this we can search it so now we are trying to get the uh, so here it is trying it seems that there are no direct flights okay so what we will try to do is so same search we will try to take it so we will go to new chart so maybe the direct flights are not there it seems so we will try to remove this one okay and here I will make it as a 24th or anything let's see and here we will type India now let's see how it will how it will search so how it will be taking so here using so there are two airports in hydro could you please come see this is this this is the type it is trying to take it so let's take check it so now how the request it is making you'll see so here this is the thing airport it is asking two airports what is this one hyderabad india we have searched it right okay fine so now here we are able to get it let's try to see so there are no direct flights it seems i don't know why there are no direct flights okay so we'll try to search with the in mumbai or otherwise either was india to why let's say <coughs> so whether it will be available or not we'll see so like this you can search for the flights in Expedia so now I will try to show you one flights how the flight tickets will be see here it is showing so it Mumbai so the, we found some flight for you to Mumbai on February 1st here are the details so on February 1st it has found so that means in January there are no flights are available I think so here on February 1st we have an afternoon so here it is trying to take departure at 5 5 p.m. that means it's an afternoon 6 15 a.m. So departure is morning and here 8 30 am so like this please don't the device is surprise i couldn't find flights exactly on january 24th if this option doesn't reflect it so like this it is trying to say so now here we are able to say so right now we cannot book the flight ticket directly through the chat gpt and if you want the return flight means so i want uh, return flight return flight means so we know that we have already told to the chat gpt that i will be staying up to seven days right automatically uh, February 1st it has booked it so now February 1st to I think it will take it will take uh, something like uh, January 24th right okay okay January 24th from Mumbai to Hyderabad automatically from February 1st it is trying to show you the departure also so like this so you can book the Expedia so now if you want to book this flight means directly you can click on this link automatically Expedia it will open and you can directly go to here so it is showing you the flight options so here it will show you everything so like this so this is how 
and it is showing you the uh, dollars also the price how much it is so like this it is they like this you can you make use of this plugins also so this is what i want to explain you not only this one so you can also browse the internet also for example uh, what is current icc old rankings if i if i try to search and it will try to search in the internet if you are able to see so it is searching in the internet it will show you so bing search it will try to search in the bing search and it will give you the current icc world rankings what are available so it will take some time i don't have real access okay 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 this is a plugin right so we need to go to the chat gpt4 and here current icc world rankings okay so like this so doing research with the bing and searching for this one in the bing and you will be getting some options like it will try to click on one by one one by one link it will try to uh, access the content and it is showing you the data okay so this is how we will be making use of this chat gpt so i hope that you are able to understand about the chat gpt basics prompt how we can use it and the plugins also have shown you the code interpreter also have shown you hope you understood about this concept if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you